Hey YouTube, what is going on? It's Black Tiger here again today, guys. And uh, I'm going to be showing you what I've done to my Bestia GTS. I know I've already done a review on this car, but I just wanted to show you guys my finished product here. I think it looks pretty awesome. I like didn't really like the car. Well, it looked alright, the stock version of it, but now I just absolutely love it. This thing looks like unbelievable. Looks like a completely tuned Ferrari. FF, which is what I believe this car is. Or there's a new one that's out actually that looks a lot like the FF also. I forget what it's called. Like the F12 or something, I think. I don't know. But, um, yeah, then um, when you put on the custom exhaust on this car, it sounds quite nice. Um, gives it an even kind of deeper, more loud pitched sound. So, yeah, it's pretty sweet. I decided to go with the uh, custom exhaust over the stock one, even though I did like the quad pipes kind of on that angle there. It's kind of nice, but yeah, well, uh, I'll bring this in the mod shop for you guys so you can see exactly what I've done to it. Make this a quick vid because it's not a showcase of the car. It's What's just uh, me showing you guys what I've done to it. Alright, so yeah, um, for the upgrades we did, um, armor, brake, actually no, we didn't do the armor because, yeah, the car is faster without it, so. And then bumpers, we went with the drift bumper, and then engine, obviously, full engine and exhaust, I went with the, uh, stock, I mean, custom oval exhaust, because I do like the quad stock exhaust, but the oval one does sound a little nicer, and it's pretty nice looking as well, and then hood, we went with the twin vented hood and stock horn there and then we did xenon headlights to accent the paint looks pretty awesome all these different shades of blue are pretty nice and then neon lights all around and then we did a blue neon and then full coverage and the nice uh, yellow and blue plate to match the paint it actually matches like almost perfectly and uh, i believe we did i don't know why it doesn't let you look at the paint that you put on this car but i believe we did a uh, metallic dark blue with a pers uh, pearlescent, I always say pearlescent, pearlescent of diamond blue, I'm pretty sure that that's what I did, but um, yeah, our skirts, we have the street skirts, they look pretty nice, I like them better than uh, any other ones for sure, um, I actually got this idea for this car from uh, someone online. Um, posted a picture on Google and I just saw it and it looked beautiful so I did kind of my own representation of it and it looks pretty similar but different also. But yeah, I have the lower level spoiler there or low level spoiler. I think that one looks the nicest. And then it's completely dropped obviously and then transmission, um, turbo, and for the wheels we have, I think Sport for sure. Yeah, we have the Sport Cosmos on there and they are painted black so yeah and then uh, we don't have any tire design definitely looks better without that bulletproof tires and I don't have any tire smoke it would look cool with a blue tire smoke actually and then we have the dark smoke for the windows but yeah that's it for my uh, custom upgrades on the uh, Bestia GTS I think it looks absolutely beautiful it's a really unique color for sure and uh, yeah, if you guys were looking for an interesting paint combination or wanted to change the one you have on your Bastille already, just uh, feel free to do something like mine. But yeah, pretty much any metallic dark color, you can put some awesome pearlescence on them to make them look really unique. So yeah, you guys can definitely come up with some awesome creations for sure. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And uh, if you did, leave a like and subscribe. We've got some Fallout 4 coming up next. You're going to be doing a lot of Fallout 4. It's like, I don't know, I hope you guys like it because I sure do. And it's a really fun game. At first I didn't think I'd like it, but now I really do. But yeah, guys, see you in the next one.